Hi everybody and welcome to I Follow TV. Well, it's Oscar time again and you know what that means. Wall-to-wall -wall red carpet coverage from major entertainment news outlets all reporting the same thing. Who won what? Who wore who? Nothing about the real people behind the celebrity facade. Well, that is where we come in. This is I Follow TV's Oscar winners and losers revealed. If the Oscar-nominated director of Inglorious Bastards was called hot-tempered, that might be an understatement. While many fans and even paparazzi report friendly encounters with the famed filmmaker, never, ever, ever approach Quentin Tarantino with a camera rolling. Ever. What's going on here? How's it going, man? How are you? What's going on here? I'm, what's going on here? What's going on here? Put that down. What's going on here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you, can you not talk to me? Just for uh, it's just for the. What are you doing? Hey, don't do that. Don't man. do that again. <laughs> he worked with Quentin Tarantino in the Oscar-nominated film *Inglorious Bastards*, but in real life, actor Brad Pitt handles minor conflict much better than his old pal Quentin. According to one story posted on ifollow.com, I cut school to go to the city for fun with my dad and my friend. In the midst of the day, we went to this place in the city called Mars 2112. It's like an underground restaurant based off of Mars with an arcade. My friend and I went to the arcade while the food was being made. We were having fun, and then my dad showed us that Brad Pitt was playing with Maddox, his son. At the time, he had the mohawk, and so did Maddox. Now, you would think that as a major celebrity, he would try to cover himself up so he's not picked out and attacked. Playing it off as not a big deal, I said, well, that's cool. I turn around, and my friend is gone. I was scared at this point. There must have been 200 people downstairs, and about 40 people at once came up. I was mortified in embarrassment and fear. This poor guy is just getting pelted with questions, and as he was going away, out of the craziness, my friend thought it would be funny to yell, Goodwill hunting sucked. But it became funny when Brad yelled back, I wasn't in Goodwill hunting. He's one of Hollywood's most handsome leading men, and he's also a talented comedian and singer. But what's Oscar winner Jamie Foxx like one on one? After I attended the Jamie Foxx concert, which was both music and comedy, I was lucky enough to get to go backstage and meet him. I adore Jamie Foxx. I feel like I've been laughing with him my whole life, and I had his very first album, but nobody ever thought he would make it musically. I waited in line to get a picture with him, and really, that was all I was expecting. But it went down a little differently. Jamie was not one of those take your picture and leave type of guys. He asked me how I was, if I enjoyed the show. We talked for a very long time. He made me laugh. He was super nice and genuine. He really cared about what I was talking about, and not just me, but everyone he spoke to. I must say that I was a little shocked by his appearance. He didn't look very healthy. He was too skinny and his face looked gaunt. It made me worry. Lord knows what Hollywood does to people, so I just hope he's all good. Without a doubt, the biggest buzz at the Oscars this year was reserved for Avatar. But before he was making characters blue on the big screen, Oscar winning director James Cameron has been making his fans blue in real life. He's directed some of the biggest films in Hollywood history, but the Terminator and Titanic director has been terminating and sinking his fans' autograph wishes for years. We won't show the video here, but a paparazzo was recently accused of autograph entrapment, baiting James Cameron into an on-camera conflict over an autograph request. And while some say Cameron deserved the harassment after being a famously elusive autograph signer, Others say James Cameron has gotten a bad rap. Who says so exactly? Steve Serkin, the publisher of Autograph Magazine. James, as the publisher of Autograph Magazine, I want you to know that we think you've been done wrong. I don't know any fan or autograph collector who would treat someone like you were treated. You were set up, and they didn't care if you or your fans paid the price. It was appalling, and I hope you don't hold it against us. Cameron is no George Clooney when it comes to signing autographs. He's not one of the friendliest people in Hollywood and seems to prefer to keep fans at a distance. 
He does sign, but not that often. That's his prerogative. And as long as he signs sometimes, that's okay with us. Like all of us, he's entitled to live his life as he wants to and have his privacy. First, he danced with wolves. Then, Academy Award winner Kevin Costner flirted with your wife. My husband and I were skiing at Deer Valley in Park City, Utah. We were just getting off the lift when I had my moment with Kevin. While we were waiting for our party to get off, my husband decided to adjust his bindings. So he bent down, mumbling under his breath about his ski and thinking that I was listening to him all the while. But in fact, it was as if beautiful music was playing in my head as I looked directly into the sunglasses of Kevin Costner. My husband had no clue that I was exchanging smiles with dances with wolves. No words were spoken, only the language of lips and teeth. It was even long enough to notice that he was going gray on his sideburns since I saw him on the big screen. Pretty passionate, I know. It only lasted about five seconds before my husband stood up again and blocked my view. Before I could finish telling him, Kevin had skied off into the sunset with his kids that he had been waiting for to also get off the lift. It took some convincing that I actually saw him, but I think my husband likes the bragging rights that Kevin Costner tried to flirt with his wife, and he got in the middle of it. Sounds good. He did have a gorgeous smile. Pretty steamy stuff. For more outrageous celebrity fan encounters that you won't read about anywhere else, be sure to check out ifollow.com. Real people, real celebrities, real encounters. Only on iFollow.